Welcome back everyone, it's me Matt. Let me know in the comments section below if you are a drone operator of any kind and the context of you using them, including the kind of systems you use. Have you used them in combat potentially? I mean, uh, there's a lot of different military applications for drones of today, or maybe you just use them for your own civilian business. I'd love to know what you get up to with drones. As you can see with this fascinating drone shield gun, counter UAV technology is increasing in its capacity every single day. This thing seems incredibly awkward. Uh, interfering with RF frequency is certainly the way to go, but drones are progressively getting more wild and wacky as we can see here for this Russian anti-tank missile uh, rocket launcher here being launched uh, potentially at ground targets, primarily armor, of course. And the technology isn't new, it's been around for some time. I've done a number of videos on this in the past, but what I am finding more and more interesting is the ability for militaries to take this a lot more seriously. They are actually starting to think about how drones can be countered because they are truly terrifying on the battlefield today from, you know, kamikaze drones to those that can launch projectiles or just drop a hand grenade from a simple DJI drone you can buy on Amazon. It is terrifying, including this dual tube anti-tank rocket launcher placed on a drone uh, but aerial applications that are being used for today aren't the only threat we do see a lot of drones being used on the ground as well including this rather peculiar ak-47 sort of sentry gun with the trigger response that i thought was quite interesting uh, and of course this heavy duty drone with a machine gun underneath it but these are all on the attack how do we defend against these? How do we counter UAVs? Well, there's lots of options, whether we want to interfere with the RF frequency, capture them with even nets nowadays. You can find these giant netted capabilities that sort of capture the drones so you can use it for your own intelligence. But what I find the most fascinating is the ability for drones to actually fight one another. Yes, having dogfights, a drone hunting for another drone. This is something that is more and more becoming popular. Now, as you can see here, this machine gun firing bullets at uh, the ground is obviously going to be very useful for an attack. But what about putting a firearm onto a drone and having that hunt the other, almost like, you know, an F-18 or an F-14 Tomcat hunting down in Top Gun other aircraft with uh, its guns, very similar to with drones. And we are seeing more and more companies and technology being pushed out of there. And one of them that I found most interesting is actually from the United States military because they've been doing a lot of work into trying to find drones that you can mount a shotgun to. And here you go, this is actually a drone with an AN-12 shotgun placed upon it. Uh, this is just a father and son having some fun with an RC helicopter, which I thought was just super cool. Just putting a semi-auto on the uh, front of a helicopter. I have no idea whether or not this is legal or not in this American context, but I still think it's absolutely fascinating that these are existing, that they can be used. and. This is a very old video, of course, uh, you know, drone warfare, probably at the time this was filmed, is certainly not as applicable as it is today, but it really does make a lot of sense. This is a very loud gas-powered system, but the Air Force Research Laboratory of the United States have actually designed a drone that has a shotgun on it called the Paladin. It is designed as an interceptor. Yes, it is literally a dogfighting drone. It is there to hunt, find, and shoot down anything it can find in the UAV airspace. And I think this is an incredibly sophisticated bit of kit. You've got to think of the amount of processing computer power and flight skill of a drone operator that has to actually put a pump action shotgun onto the bottom of a drone and find other drones. Drones aren't easy to see from the naked eye for the most part. There have to be some basic sensors or systems that can track uh, drones that are in the airspace or the threat that's around them. So this kind of technology is utilizing sensors, more sophisticated cameras, and uh, potentially even radars to find whether or not there is a drone in the area. And then they will send these things out on hunter interceptor, sort of hunter killer capability, I would say, to shoot them down. Old school, just simple shotgun in the sky, blasting away. And I think this is really cool. Now, there is a sort of digital battle space management system that you can use this for. But what I also find interesting about this kind of tech is, of course, it's not only going to be very useful for taking the threat out of a drone in your airspace that's coming to look for you, but it could be used with a shotgun on the bottom of it to also take out infantry. I also had a rather interesting conversation with an engineer, combat engineer, the other day who said this kind of tech will be very useful for taking out, you know, unexploded ordnance, uh, mines or, you know, IEDs and even more so bridges uh, that are rigged up for detonation. If you could send some of these copters underneath there to either, you know, shotgun the hell out of the explosives they see attached to the bridge 
um, could preemptively set it off. But the reality is it's a lot safer than sending a troop out there to try and disarm it. But the true functionality of this system is to basically blast those drones out of the sky. And it does a pretty good job, as you can see it doing it. So I really enjoy this tech. I would love to know, though, what your thoughts are on this system. Let me know. Do you think shotguns on drones and doing dogfights in drones is going to be the future? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll try my best to reply to you. Thank you all for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. All the best. Bye-bye.